40 forecast. Sponsored by Current Electrical, your Generac Superstore. Welcome back on this Sunday morning. Here's a look over Big Spring Park in downtown Huntsville from earlier in the week. Looking very clear, very sunny, very nice across the Tennessee Valley and looking very similar to what we're seeing this morning. Minor Hill, beautiful clear skies this morning. Sunshine coming on down Athens. Look at the Limestone County Courthouse bathing in the sunshine this morning. A little bit of a light breeze going on with those temperatures down in the 30s this morning. North Madison County, sunshine. Coming down here in New Market this morning and looking really good all across the area. Temperatures starting off cold though. This will be the shock to the system with those temperatures in the 30s. 32 in Scottsboro. It's 28 in Fort Payne. 32 in Huntsville, 35 in Decatur, 34 in Athens, 35 in Florence, 34 in Arab, and 36 in Albertville starting off this morning. The radar is clear. Nothing to talk about here. Your walking forecast for today later this afternoon. That's when temperatures are really going to start to warm up, and it's going to be really nice as we get to around 2, 3 o'clock as we hit those mid-60s, and then we'll drop back down to the low 60s as we head towards 6 o'clock this evening. Not a bad afternoon to get out and go walking at all. Your school day forecast for Monday, first bell, temperatures starting off in the lower 50s. Plenty of sunshine all the way up through lunchtime. Temperatures hitting the upper 60s, low 70s by lunchtime on Monday. And then by the afternoon when you're picking the kids up from school, temperatures in the low 70s. Cloud cover starting to work back in ahead of our next system coming our way into the middle of the week. Here's what I want to talk about our upcoming system on Wednesday that could bring us some strong storms here to the Tennessee Valley. And I'm not saying severe anymore because there are a couple of limiting factors here. We need to take a look at those. The one of the limiting factors is low storm energy. Storms need the energy to tap into in our atmosphere to be able to be their strongest. And right now it's looking like there's going to be limited or low storm energy when these storms come through. The other limiting factor will be clouds and rain before the storms actually ever move on through our area. That is also going to be a limiting factor to the storm energy. There are a couple of things that we do want to keep a watch on, though, as we head towards Wednesday. That's why we're saying still the possibility for a strong storm or two based on the timing when they're going to come through, which is going to be likely be through the afternoon and into the evening on Wednesday. And that is when we have our peak heating, the most heating or the most warming in our atmosphere that helps produce storm energy as well, as well as watching the wind shear with this system. That's what can drive strong wind gusts with these storms as we go through Wednesday. Let's take a look at our future cast drive for the next couple of days here as we go through Sunday into Monday, but then on Tuesday rain moves on in and that can be a limiting factor with this system too. And then on Wednesday, here comes this line of showers and thunderstorms pushing through with the front as we go through the afternoon and into the evening. Those are the storms that we'll have to keep an eye on for some of those to be strong as we head through the middle of the week. Here's Sam Mountain over the next seven days. Looking pretty good today. Tomorrow, Tuesday, the rain returns. Showers and thunderstorms on Wednesday. A couple could be strong. The shoals, you're looking pretty good through Monday. Temperatures hitting the low 70s on Monday, upper 70s on Tuesday. Then temperatures in the upper 60s with showers and thunderstorms coming through on Wednesday. The Huntsville metro area, you're looking good as we wrap up the weekend, head into the beginning of the week. But by the middle of the week, showers and thunderstorms are returning.